Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the day of the video, Darren. How's it going today? Today, I forgot car cam when I drove down today. I forgot the little mount that puts you on the tripod. So you're going to have to just deal with me now. I'm just going to reprogram my sat nav so my homes are different uh, because at the moment it's obviously at the wrong address. Um, how's it going? Um, drove in this morning. It's literally 20 to 8. Like that route is so much better than the other route. Well, it's not. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it because, um, oh, where the hell would home be? Don't worry about me. Let me just figure out where the, how the hell to change my home address on my sat nav. Um, so we were having a, um, I drove in this morning. Right, let's talk about the drive because I drove in this I left at five past seven and I got here at this time the drive is so it's like it go a completely different way there's like three different roads out of Bristol and I take now the middle one the M4 being the top one and Bath Road being the bottom one uh, I take the middle one now and it's literally like just straight lines all the way um and it's really good it's like really like but it's narrow 60 mile an hour country roads I was terrified <laughs> I was genuinely terrified Normally when you drive in in the morning, you could just kind of go into autopilot the way I've been currently going. Obviously, I'm not going to be in autopilot today because I don't know where I'm going. But I've been in, like, autopilot trying to figure out, like, knowing exactly... What the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> um, deleting stuff now. So, putting my new work address as well. I'll be able to sort out that. Um, why do I want to know where fucking Garmin Europe is? Why do I want that saved in my bloody sat-nav? I don't care where Garmin Europe or USA is. Jeez, just delete those mother truckers. So, so yeah, the driving this morning, it was like this 60 mile an hour windy road. It was bumpy as well, and you could not zone out. You were concentrating all the time. There was like a hairpin. I, well, at one point, I'm going up, and I'm like, it was a hill. I didn't realise it was a hill, because it's just like flat country land around me. Then I'm like, I'm losing power. And I'm looking down, I'm like, oh shit, is my car braking or something? Um, I go down a gear, and like, because I'm in fifth doing like 40 go down a gear i'm still struggling to accelerate foot's flat down not accelerating it's just like it's, you know when it's not revving or anything it's just struggling went down to third and i'm like it's a hill i understand i understand this now you know when it's like windy roundabouts and stuff and like um at windy like essentially what are they called um u-turns u-turns hammerheads um u u bends when it snakes up a hill right I got to the first one of them, went around the corner, I'm like, fuck, this is a tighter corner than it looked like. Jesus. I was, I was scared for the majority of that, but I literally hit bath by the time that Chris Evans puts the kids on the radio. Um, so like half past seven, I hit bath for, then I was coming in from the other side of bath, took me about 10 minutes to get to campus because I'm on the complete opposite side. Um, but yeah, so that was a fun commute. I'm happy with that. Otherwise, let's talk new flats. Um, the new flat was well weird. Like I've slept, slept, sorry, in the same room as the front door for a year and about three months. It was terrifying. Like I was just lock the front door, walk through the hall, turn the light off, turn the light off in the living room as I'm going past, go into the bedroom, close the door. And I'm like, this is weird. <laughs> it's so strange. And it's so strange going to sleep in a room where there's no road noise, no lights, except for the alarm clock behind me. Because normally I'm like, there's a wall here in front of me, just a plain wall. I'm used to having Atlas there. Oh, it's so strange. Like, genuinely. In, in, <laughs> it's, we're obviously, we're going to get used to it. And also, getting ready this morning. Like, I get up at the shower. Man, Jesus Christ. So it's like, it's spurty. It kind of goes... Tff, 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 tff. Like, it's not a constant, powerful stream. It's quite powerful. And it gets really hot, but it's got a button where it goes... You turn it up a bit. Well, it took me about 15 minutes to get the temperature right because this light kept coming on and reduce heat and I'm like what? The dial doesn't make sense either because it's got like hot on the left pointing right cold on the right pointing left and I'm like what? <laughs> so I'm spinning the dial trying to get it to stop telling me to reduce the heat and it's roasting hot <laughs> and then it's freezing cold and I had to just turn it off put it right down to cold and then just slowly slowly turn it um, so I wish Laura luck with that in the morning <laughs> I assume she's already used it by now um, but yeah, otherwise I'm getting ready and like Atlas is in a different room, my phone's in this room and it's, I don't like it. Like to go, I was in the bath, um, in the bedroom, um, kitchen, cooking, making a cup of tea in the morning. Um, and <laughs> I had to go through three doors to go and get my watch so I don't get late. <laughs> three doors! I only had two doors in my other flat and one of them was out. <laughs> it's really good. Like, it's weird how settled we are. Like yesterday we were watching, I wanted to type up some notes on my surface, but then we ended up watching Men in Black 3 on the TV. Like, I'm not exaggerating, we have next to no internet 
in some places I get 4G. And I may have to put my phone down and set up a wireless hotspot. I've got increased fucking downloads for what have you, but it's not slow. So we're watching Men in Black 3, and then we're just like cuddled up on the sofa watching TV. It's so cool. I got a little. So yeah, it's like I really enjoy it. It's so cool. I'm in love with that flat, I really am. So um yeah. I'm really happy with the flat, although it's going to take some getting used to. Otherwise, on the road route as well, I was going to say that um, while that's like a really cool way and you can get here really quick, if it's icy, I'm not going that way. No way in hell, I'm going the motorway way. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try this room out. Um, it's the room next to the great big computer room, just a group work room, and there's plugs like around the side. So if I sit here, then I can plug in. I'm going to try this instead of the, the busier computer room next door, plus the computer room next door is booked from 11, so not superficial. Um, today we have a lot of stuff to do, I need to catch up on lecture notes, I need to catch up on programming work, I need to catch up on my final year project stuff. Um, I also need to sort out a lot of things to do with the house, things to do with electricity and all that kind of shit. I'm going to think, um, oh, well, I need to make the most of internet, like I don't have internet at home. So I need to make the most of the Wi-Fi here. Um, so it's likely I'm going to be here all day. Well, like normally my lectures, sorry, lectures finish at about 12. But, um, well no, my lecture is at 12, finishes at 1. But I'm probably going to stay here until like 3, just to make the most of the internet. So I get home when Laura gets home, but you know what I mean. just have to do things like upload a bit. Like I have a lot of things to do now on campus. So it's going to be really important that I get here early. Um, it's still not 8 yet. It's a nice little room actually with the light, light just pans across instead of having two great big thingies. Come on Wi-Fi, come on Wi-Fi. At least the upload speed is actually quick. I don't know if you're recording. Yeah, at least the upload speed is really quick here. And also I've missed being able to listen to, I don't download music, I just have Spotify. I, I was clever enough to offline all of my playlists, but whew, man. Internet and what have you has all been sorted along with YouTube stuff. Um, I'm caught up, I'm catching up on things. So just leaving that lab room I was just in, because there's actually a lecture in there, there's something in there at like nine, even though it's not on the timetable or anything. Um, but one of the people that came in, I was on the phone to the electricity company, one of the people came in and then went out again, uh, and then like a load of them came in, which is why I knew it was a le lecture. She came up to me and said, like, just turned it over, I'm like, oh, hello, I thought you were coming for the plug or something. <laughs> and then she goes, are you Jamie Penn? And I'm like, yeah, hi. And she goes, well, what you videos? I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> Have you got a lecture today? <laughs> so, that was cool. That was nice. By the way, if any one of you are on campus or anything, like, feel free to come and say hi to me or whatever. At any point, I'm not scary at all. Um, so, yeah. Second room change. I've organised um, change of billing address. Well, figured out what I need to do for change of billing address, change of my car insurance stuff, my car registration stuff, um, and all of that kind of jazz. Um, Lots of productivity, lots of things I need to print out at home and then send off annoyingly. The picture is done. I'm now going to do my other stuff. Um, I'm back in the room that I was in previously. Um, I'm going to have my lunch and I'm just trying to connect my laptop to the internet so that I can ring the car insurance company. Um, they've obviously like, they've quoted me a certain number of things for um, my car insurance changes. And it's going to be like a set. They've sent me because I did it like two different stages. They've sent me two different prices. So I'm going to ring to confirm what that price is. And then the addition of Laura is actually really cheap. So I'm going to add her onto the car insurance tonight. And then tonight we'll surprise her and say, So, uh, do you want to drive to shopping tonight? And we'll see. We'll see if she does. She probably won't. She'll probably be too scared to drive for a while. But who knows? Car insurance is all sorted. I had lunch. I watched. A couple of YouTube videos, by the way, it's difficult to tear, your away, tear yourself away from YouTube videos knowing that you're going to go home and not be able to watch any. Uh, but I did it, and then typed up all my lecture notes, and we're off. It is three o'clock, and um, my lecture finished at one. one. So I spent two hours of just typing stuff up. Um, I'm going to go home, and I've got to print off a couple of forms, fill them in, post them. And me and Laura have to go shopping and stuff tonight, so I might do a bit of proposal writing. Considering that Atlas has limited like internet connection, like obviously my laptop does as well, um, but my laptop comes here and then syncs up every day. 
I'm considering just doing things like my proposal and stuff on my Surface instead of doing it on Atlas and then connecting Atlas to the Wi-Fi using my phone and then syncing everything through Google Drive. That's just going to take too much data. So I'm going to do everything on my Surface but move my keyboard over so that I can use a good, better keyboard. In fact, considering that, what I could do is get a micro um, display port cable, which I don't currently have on my Surface, so that I can connect it to the TV and then I can sit on the TV programming, uh, doing work on my keyboard from a distance. That'd be pretty cool. Because the annoying thing is like, the surface is quite a small screen, as it is. So, but then the one thing holding it back, I could just put it onto a bigger monitor, but then I need a display port. Where did I put my card in, Daddy? I think so. Anyway, I've got to practice the new way going home. Yep, there it is. So I'll let you know how it goes. Tip for tomorrow, by the way, is not to trust this because it's just brought me the same way back home and it's gonna divert me the last minute. And I know for a fact going a different way would have been better. Like tomorrow, I'm gonna to force it to go the way I know is better. Like because Google told me it's better. Um, but now like even, I've got all this way, right? Before I set off, Google said, this route will take you, um, this journey is gonna take you, what is it gonna take you? Something like, like in 35 minutes. I've been driving for 30 minutes and now Google's telling me it's gonna take 22 minutes. I'm not impressed. <laughs> I mean, it kept saying, well, I wanted to go the, the way I basically drove in today, which was really fast. The way Satnav took me, which was really good. So taking me back and it's like, oh, it's going a different way. And I'm like, that's the same way I normally go. So I check the address. I'm like, no, that's definitely the address I told it to take me to. Fine, well, we'll listen to it. Cause Google says one of the three different ways is this way, but it said turn back a while ago. Um, turn away a while ago and I'm like if this takes me towards St. Philip's fucking causeway I'm gonna scream <laughs> and I screamed I didn't scream but god damn it it's really annoying I'll let you go it's not like I can go anywhere in this traffic is it so careful of that car to the left of me though wait and that motorbike there to the left of me yeah as well they ain't gonna let you go or they are letting you go that's nice for means I can move forward um, but you see what I mean like that, I don't know why that thinks this is the quickest way, because it's not, by a long shout. It's not even because of traffic. Nowhere near is it because of traffic. Oh, I can squeeze through that, brilliant. Um, oh man, I'm annoyed, <laughs> is the short answer for this. But that's what you do. This was a test run, tomorrow will be a better test run, and it'll be done at the exact same time as well. Um, so we should get better results. Here we go, and now the SatNav and Google now disagree. Google is going to try and rectify the problem the sat nav has put me in. Um, basically, right, the idea is now that I can just go the back way in. Like, I can literally just kind of scoot into the back of Bristol and just kind of go whew, straight into my house. What this is doing is it's taking me into the centre, so I just join the centre commuter traffic and come back out, come back out towards where I live. It makes no sense. God damn. I don't know why it got it right on the way in. There was no one-way system. There's no, there wasn't a one-way system that it was like trying to avoid or something. You know what I mean? I don't get why I've not gone back the same way I went. Man. Two things of note now. It feels super strange. No, but just one thing of note to you. Two things of note to Laura. Um, feels super strange coming back here. Like, I've just walked in and I'm like, this is strange. This feels weird. Um, so, yeah, I'm back. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to text Laura, so I tell her I'm back. Um, I think of a better idea for the washing, so it's not in front of Laura's mirror. Hmm. Yeah, we're still in like the fettling stages of our... Like, things are in places, but they probably won't live there forever kind of thing. Yeah, we're here now. Oh, it is good as well. I'm going to bust out this... Oh no, I've got to print some stuff. So I've got to move the surface to the, the automatic printing and documentation desk there where my shades are because it's cool although um haven't got the internet <laughs> oh good old atlas like atlas is more or less dead like it's so much of a pain like connecting it to the internet for a short amount of time will make her download a lot of stuff that's the problem so i may as well just not use her that's what i'm thinking that's my logic there and just turn this into a surface desk somehow so i can dock my surface in some kind of way. I think I do need a micro uh, micro display port to HDMI cable. <sighs> right. Uh, 
Cup of tea, man. Let's get a brew on the go. Yeah, this setup seems quite weird. <laughs> so we may we may consider getting a micro thingy if I can order a cheap one. We've got little lots of little things that we kind of need, like to order stuff and like to be uh, trying to within reason keep costs down. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's that sorted then. That's all right, isn't it? Happy days. Um, let's drop the darkness down, brightness down even. Um, cool, cup of tea, and let's print some stuff, which does mean moving it over here, unfortunately. So, right, what we've got to print this on. Change my mind on what I'm basically going to be doing today. Um, <laughs> since I've come home, I'm going to race up this cycling path right now to go to the bank to change my billing address. Um, I've, I printed off a form, but it looked like I had to print off like three forms because I've got three different accounts and ain't nobody got time for that. Then I've got to post it and I'd rather just go there and sort it out. And it's like 12 minutes away, closes in half an hour. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> so I'm just going to get on here. I'm going to leg it a little bit, try and get some distance. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. The tea is going to go cold though. So there's that. Could always microwave it warm though. Because <laughs> it doesn't have milk in, so it's actually not that bad when you microwave it warm. Right, 12 minutes. Let's see how quickly I can do it at Jamie Pace. Hey Mr. Body Cat. You look so cute, but you also look kind of scary. A lovely brown little cat, that. Um, still heading on my way though. No time to mess about. Come on. Just thought about it. This is like nearly the equivalent of me just popping to town quickly. Like, it's not a negligible distance, this. Oh, Audi and a Morrisons. I've heard about these. Laura's probably going to be interested in them. I've always been a fan of Sainsbury's. But, I've done, like, to be fair, Morrison's is probably second, and Laura's always liked Morrison's, so we might have to go there. And uh, Laura also might pop to Wildy and buy some weird shit. <laughs> like, we, went, we popped in there once when we were doing house viewing. She bought, like, dried apricots and, oh, uh, some weird stuff. I'm like, why? She just sits and eats some of them, like, just chews on it. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> also, 12 minutes my arse, it took me five. And a little, holy shit, these guys. Literally, Audi, Morrison's, little, beautiful. Done, I'm now gonna head into and have a look around this Morrison's. We're going shopping later. Um, we'll see how big this is. Like, genuinely, my, I, it just, as long as it's big and the fresh food, fresh fruit and veg is good, I'm more than happy to shop here. It's a lot closer. So now, do you think, I've just changed my driving license. Um, and I've changed my the driving license and the well I'm posting a thing to change my the le the registered address of my car to this address. So if I'm doing that, can I put them both in the same envelope, save on postage? Would I have to post them both separately? Probably have to post them both separately, don't I? Otherwise, I'd be like, why is there a cut up? Also, cutting up your fucking driving license is terrifying. I don't like the idea of doing that. <laughs> but I've got to do it because it's illegal for me to have it now. Technically, this is illegal. If I, if, if I get pulled over and they say, have you got your driving license? And they go, yeah. And they're like, you're in the fucking van. Get the fuck in there, my friend. It's illegal. You've gone to prison. So, you ready to go shop? Ready? Ready to go shopping? Yeah. I'm going to wear a coat, I think. Yeah. Uh, question is... Boop. Do you want to drive? No. <laughs> How was driving for the first time? No, no. How was it? It was okay. Thumbs up. You didn't get shouted at, so... No? Okay. Yeah, good. She did drive in the end. You just gotta do it, haven't you? Right, well then. We've got the some... The way back was better. It was. Got the gears right on the way back. That's all. Do you remember it's always a positive. Yeah. yeah, a little bit better miles than the other. <laughs> um, otherwise though, ladies and gentlemen, we've just been shopping, it's late, um, otherwise um, I'm just going to end the video, render it out, get it uploaded, all that bad stuff. Um, tomorrow... Not uploaded. Not upload it because I'm going to upload it tomorrow, saying that. Um, tonight we are going to weigh watching TV, something's on now, I don't know what it is. It's pretty it? special first days. Okay. Nothing that, that great. Nothing special. Um, so I'll put that on in the background and I will catch you later.